Hello and welcome back to workshop review. And this episode is special one. First of all, happy new year. Hopefully you watch it as this episode comes out. It will come out on the GMT plus zero, which is new year perfectly. So this episode is really special because I'm going to show you top 10 most popular blueprints on the workshop this decade. Basically, all the times that game existed. First place we got Stargate Atlantis City, which is this absolutely enormous building. Look at this. Look at this. And who made it? Is um what the heck? Creator the shed. Okay, my person who made it is Jachlen Jachlenni. I don't know. Um, why? Why is it? Okay, I think it's a little bit glitched. That's why. But uh, I didn't make it. <laughs> okay. So it's just a huge city. Yep, it's absolutely enormous. It got a lot of buildings. This interior, which is pretty nice for a city this big. Yep. This is nice. And on the highest tower, we can see everything from it. Perfect. What the heck? Yeah. You could see everything from here. This is really high. Like really high. It's absolutely massive. Good job on this one. Let's see. Yep, it's enormous. Let's let me try again and read the name. Jachlenedni. Here, here's how it's pronounced. Yep, big, enormous capital vessel, and not a base. Size class sixty-nine. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Let's see the block count. Oh my god, that's a lot of blocks. The cost on it is not really big. Why does it cost so much new DMU? Thrusters. Thrusters regular. It can fly? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy crap. Ungrabbed a, a lot of ungrabbed stuff. Some fill. Let's fill it up. And let's actually get some more fill going on. Where is the cockpit? Hopefully, it's up here in the. Nope, not here. This is the highest tower. Yep, where is the cockpit? Here it is. It doesn't really work because of the CPU. But look at it. Majestic. Absolutely enormous. It deserves to be the most popular blueprint on the workshop. Yeah. Amazing. Next we got Avalon start base by Cute Demon. Um, here it is. The second place. Most popular. This all of the game existence. Uh, how should I place it so it will place be placed nicely? Let's place it somewhere here like that. Yeah, a pretty nice base. Nothing special about it. It's just by 
Nice base. Welcome to Avalon base. Some grow plots here. Constructor here. Generators and field tanks here. And boom. That's it. Just a small, nice base with some landing pads and everything. It's an old one, but a good one. Yep. Look, level 5. And it says that it's level, level 3 because it's really old. It's all. It's very old. Next we got Barcelona by Brace Works by Seven Brace. Here it is size class nine. I think it's so big of a size class because of all the round shapes. They really load a lot. Yep, so it's a nice uh, also it got stuff growing in it so it's an illegal build yeah it got this can i power it on it got this nice shaping here on the interior some really nice garden labs some nice deco block deco stuff uh, nice stairs nice kitchen Everything here is nice. It looks absolutely amazing. And surreal. Good job on this one. Yeah, look at this. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> A repair bay. And the landing pad where you can look out and see the huge city that is floating in the sky. <laughs> Amazing. Next we got... what is this room? Toilet. Very nice room indeed. And another toilet here. And another exit to the landing pad. Hop. Another ladder or stairway with this interesting thing. And some nice room, very comfortable looking with this deco blocks. Yep, and another room. Right here, in the, they got some elevators to up here, which is the top of the base. And that's it. A really nice luxury base. Does it have a constructor or, or not? Yep, here's a constructor. No, that is not a constructor. That is MIDIC and auto station. Hmm. It has. I don't see a constructor. Where is the damn constructor? Um, no constructor. No. Where? Where's the heck is? Are they? Um. Um, excuse me, what? How do you access them? Through a control panel? Well, I guess, yep. Only through a control panel. That is really strange. Some ungrouped stuff. Yep. It's a nice big place. Next, we got the Ladybug by... 
Gay by Gaslight. Not the best name, I guess. Hopefully I don't get to... I don't know. Another controversy from that. Yeah. Oh, and he, and he renamed his name. He is... He was Kapfe when he created it, because right now on the workshop it's def definitely by Gay Buzz by Gaslight. Oh, what kind of name is that? Ungrouped stuff. Oh my god, nope. And it's just... Oops. And it's just a nice small Hoover Miner. Turrets and weapons on. Oh, it handles greatly. But it doesn't have a lot of cargo in it. So that, that. Out of the way. Yeah, nice little hover miner. They are all super outdated with new updates. They look interesting. And are a piece of Imperial history. Next we have Project Eden by Ravian FF. So start game, single player, scenario, Project Eden, Alpha 11.5 work in progress. <sighs> start. Let's see what the Project Eden got. It got very popular recently on the YouTube. Most of the creators played it. Let's wait for it to load and see what it's all about. Come on. I think it's hard to load this big of a solar system. It got like 300 playfields or something. Yep, it's a big one. It's a really great project. Planet, oh, oh, this is too slow. Seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, I started on the 1st of November this YouTube channel, so it's two months old right now. Thanks to my all 27 subscribers. That's nice that you subscribe to me. Hopefully, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Hopefully you will stay here for a long time. Because more interesting stuff is coming on. Yeah. Also, I started playing this game on the 3rd of January. So, I'm basically playing this game for almost one year right now. And I reached pretty good results, I would say. I'm pretty satisfied with my building skills right now, and uh, I got pretty much most of the game mechanics. So I don't have any stupid questions to ask. I wonder when this game is going to go into the beta, and after that full release. It takes a while to load this scenario. Almost there. And we are crashing on the planet. And I already see some really strange POIs. Some wreckages. Okay, let's do it. Code mode. And. Uh, teleport. Teleportation on map is enabled now. And sectors. A, V, L. And map. Perfect. So here we have it. The starter planet. Which is pretty nice. 
let's see the sector map. Wait for it to load. And here it is. Here it is. The absolutely enormous map. Look at this. Asteroid field, space planets, everything. Let's see what we got here. What are you? Planet info. Enable. Ice giant. Let's visit it. Sector. Ka. Klach. And almost there. We are teleporting in to it. We will wait a little bit for it to load up. Here it is. The absolutely enormous as ice giant with five of its moons. And look at all of these POIs in the orbit. Look at all of these Xyrox. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. So let's descend on the ice giant. And here we are. I don't see anything. Okay. Let's warp here. It's a really huge and flat big planet. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Look at all of this. It's big, flat, and nothing is going on here. Nothing. It's just a big flat planet. Amazing. Capital vessels cannot operate. Let's, for example, spawn one of my ships. Where? I can spawn it in here. By Z. My business planet is illegal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because because I'm in <laughs> survival technically so yeah but look at love this look at this beautiful beautiful planet it got some storyline this all of this like scenario some stuff some rocket defenses by aliens <laughs> sponge almost got shot by them in his previous episode on the project Eden or what was it I forgot already some episode yep it's work work in progress yet and I broke a leg <laughs> but look at this it's absolutely amazing how this scenario looks. Yeah. Will they shoot at me or not? I think they are just aligned at ships only. Yep, so let's cure oops item menu okay now let's see what else we got in this sector map what else oh my god <gasps> holy sh and this new multi-solar system, it got even more planets. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is this scenario? What is this planet? Gas giant. Yeah, also let me show you one of the interesting planets. If I can find them, can find them actually. Mm. 
one second it wouldn't be a problem they are somewhere nope not this one I'm incredibly sorry for taking your time but look at this frozen inferno crystalline eerie moon crystalline moon snow Elder Baron, Missane, Ice. This scenario is nuts. Ice, Elder Baron. Uh, yeah. Temperate starter. Odd temperate starter. Ocean starter. Beginner starter. Desert. Ice, Sandy Baron Moon. I want to find the most, one of the most epic things in this scenario. I don't know where to find them. I really want to find them. Ah, oh, Fluornate. <laughs> Not first time I hear this name of the planet. Classic name generation stuff. Uh, jungle. Yeah, just look at this map. It's amazing. It's a great scenario. You should 100% give it a try if you are tired from the old game. Like 100%. Give it a try. Absolutely amazing. Some stations. Dead. <laughs> just dead planet. Great. Great. Just great. Lava. Barren metal. One of my favorite types. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Renexy. You will see what I'm talking about. And here we go. Here it is. The Red Dwarf. This is a planet, but this is a star, but it's actually a planet, and you can go on it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the bloom around it. And here we are going in. Look at this madness. 10G gravity. <laughs> Look at this temperature. <laughs> Look at this. I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead instantly. By severe imp impact. Yep, because of all the G's. But you can see how great this scenario is. There's a lot more, more to explore. I'm not going to spoil spoil any stuff or anything yep so these five of the most popular blueprints or whatever on workshop done we are going to continue with the blueprints where is it Workshop review. Here we are going in. Great scenario, definitely. It's easy to find it. Just select most popular and do all time. Most popular all time. Here we are, back in here. Instead of this file scenario. Next we got Warfarer ST by J. Rand. Here he is. The best starter ship there is great ship I personally tested it in survival a few times don't really use blueprints but this one was actually too great that I used it it's it can be upgraded in got everything some storage yeah 
great ship. Got a place for shields. And it's updated too. It's updated to one version. So you can use it even right now. Great interior. A lot of grow plots. A nice view in the hangar from it. And a landing pad on the top. So yeah, it's a great ship for the start game, end game, whatever you want to use it. Tier 2, size class 1. Uh, what else can I... Unlock level 10. And got 11 kilotons of cargo capacity in 1G gravity. Great ship, definitely give it a try. If you need a starter ship. Next we have tier 2 Rohan Rohirs box and stapler, which is a hover vessel. Why? No, I am not reading that. Jeb bint Avernoch. <laughs> I did it. So it's basically a decorational device, a hover vessel lifting one of the cargo boxes with oars. And some more cargo boxes with oars standing right here. Amazing. Great. Yep. Just a great ship. Not ship, a decoration of the device. Go plop it down somewhere in your base and you got yourself a nice detail. Yep, and that's it about it. Next we got the big boy, the Perseus carrier by Gerental again. Great ship. Amazing ship. It's not the best looking builds from J. Randall because it's one of his earliest builds. But not the most earliest. At least. But it's a great carrier. It's a great ship. He has an update of it on his workshop. If you aren't following J. Randall on the workshop, then, well, go follow him. He is the best builder on on the workshop looking at the followers he got four and a half a thousand of them yep great ship there's a lot to it to explore but uh, i'm not going to walk around it right now because it would take us too long get a great ship you definitely should check it out now on workshop yeah, a big one. Amazing. Next we got... The... Oh no, he's alive. <laughs> okay, next we got Avenger. Small vessel by... Um, oh my god, not me. Not me, definitely not me. Let me check the workshop and see who the creator is. I think it's just too old, so that option to display the name wasn't added yet. It's by Boanerges929. Boanerges929. Okay, that is the name. So, yeah, it's just this strange looking small vessel. Um, um, let's see how it flies. Um, let me, oops, oops, Daisy. Let me plop down a few CPU extenders in it, so it will actually work. So here it is, the small, small vessel, Avenger. It 
looks so bad. It looks so bad. How did this get on the most popular? Now I'm questioning the reality. All of the other builds are good. This one just looks like absolute. I don't know what. It looks strange. Really strange. And yet, somehow, it got to the most popular of the all time. Yeah. Well, maybe you couldn't build just better in that little time. Not a lot of sh block shapes were added in the game. I don't know what happened there, but it looks hideous. I don't like it, <laughs> but uh, it looks kind kind of nice at the same time too. Maybe yeah, I think it's just because of all the block shapes that were missing that time. You couldn't be, you could not be, you wasn't able to build something as good as this time on workshop. Yeah, I'm just going to say it on that. But looks nice and got a pretty nice shaping and coloring. So yeah. And the last chip, the Polaris by Mr. Ice Cat. This ship became a prefab. It's a big ship, and it looks really strange. Is there an updated version of it? I don't know, but it looks really strange. Mr. Ice Cat. Yep. <clears throat> Clone chamber and magic station. Oh, come on! Don't make me. Don't make me do that on the on the workshop review of the decade. Some grow plots here, which is pretty nice. Ammo and fuel tanks right here. Warning, highly flammable. I won't say it's highly flammable, I'd say it's highly explosive. A core right here, and warp drive, and warp tank. And back in here. And we can take a look again at the Atlantis City. We just which doesn't like a game a lot. Ten ships lock game much more than just one huge ship. That is the problem with it. Okay, let's go down this elevator. And we got here a nice untextured hangar bay. Yeah. The ship looks pretty strange too. The outside of it is pretty nice, but the inside of it looks a little bit strange. All this untextured stuff. I don't know if you could texture stuff at that time, but uh, some of it is textured, other stuff isn't. I don't know, it looks pretty strange and unfinished. But well, I'm here not to write it or say anything, I'm just giving my opinion and showing you the build. Yep. So, and that does it for this decade of Empyreon. We got some great builds and some not as great builds, but all of the all of them contributed to workshop and inspired other builders, like that built better builds than those ones. And the Berion building slowly evolved, and it's now at the point where it is right now, which is amazing. 
So yeah. Great, great builds. I will see you in the next decade. Goodbye.